All right, congratulations to me. Cyborg, Amanda Nunes, signed and done. Nobody's wanted this. I don't know if anyone's wanted this fight more than me. Huh? How long have I been talking about this? And part of it's because we were promised it, remember? We were promised that fight and something happened and then I think Amanda got a new opponent which forced Cyborg to get a new opponent or vice versa. I think, that, I think it was the opposite. Cyborg went, so then right, Raquel and Amanda go. And I never knew if we were gonna get this fight. Then Cyborg was all kinds of pissed off because Amanda's the one that called the fight out and then Amanda wanted to do it in December and Cyborg's like, hey, you called me out. We're not gonna wait. Right, I mean, that was, that was playground rule. She go, you called me out. We, we go after school today, and, which I loved, right? I thought it was fun. I thought it was a great answer. I think both of these girls are so skilled. And I, I was a little late to the party on female fighters. And uh, they won me over, right? They completely won me over. Uh, I think Gina Carano gets a lot of credit for that. Chris Cyborg gets a lot of credit for that. Ronda Rousey is credited for that. You've got Misha Tate in there, but I'll tell you what. I'm not sure Amanda's not the best talent of them all. I'm really not sure she's not. When I go watch her fight, and the big knock on Amanda, and this comes from her own teammates, her own teammates will say, well, you know, she's a bit of a front runner. She comes out super hard and there's a storm, but if you can be left standing, you, you compete with her down the line. And if there's anything that she proved in the Raquel Pennington fight, and I thought Amanda proved a lot of things in that fight. I thought both girls looked really good, but Amanda proved that regardless of if she's fatigued or not, she's gonna keep going. That's one thing that we also learned about Chris Cyborg in the Holly Holm fight, right? That five round club, you guys have to take that into consideration. Whenever you're talking about a title fight or a main event, your pick and your prediction has to weigh in a factor of can they go five rounds? The human body isn't made to do that. It's a ridiculous amount of time. Set that aside and tell somebody does it, you don't know if they can, you can only speculate. Both of those girls have proved that they can. This is the fight to make. I love it. Uh, and I really give a lot of credit to Amanda here. You know, you have to understand, people don't want to fight Chris Cyborg. She's as scary as they come. She's rough. She's mean. She's got that old school mentality, which I think she really proved when she called Amanda out. Called her out for calling her out, right? Calls her out and goes, wait, you want to fight me? We're not waiting. We do it today. We do it right now. You said my name. You want to face me now, you're facing me. I thought that was compelling. I thought that was a great storyline. And I don't think Chris Cyborg gets enough credit for that. You know, a lot of people don't understand that she is one of these old school fighters. She's just new to the mainstream. She's new to the UFC and the cameras and, and the big gold belt and the championship, but she's been around for a long time. Her ex-husband was around for a long time. One of the old school, one of the original guys, and that's really what runs through her veins and runs through her blood. And I think that there's a big representation of old school versus new school. And forget about that, you guys are gonna go look at their ages and go, well, they're really not that far apart. I understand that, but their experience is. Chris Cyborg has the experience, right? Amanda has an incredible skill set. This is the fight to make. Chris Cyborg's gonna have a little bit of size. But Amanda seems to have a whole bunch of confidence because this was her idea in the first place. That compels me. That compels me. Chris Cyborg can take a punch. She took Holly Holmes. I don't know how big of a punch Amanda can take because I haven't seen her. She's always been the aggressor. She's been the one going forward, showing that aggressiveness, hasn't had to deal with a lot of adversity. Does that make a difference? It's a talking point. Put your money where you will. Really doesn't matter to me. I'm just grateful this fight's finally happening.